all right guys so um we're going to continue this particular project first of all i wanted to um work out this section with a class i'm just going to add a class here just a class and i'm just going to give this class name strings so i'm just going to say my strings just like this and this is where all the class all the strings i'm just going to use is going to be right okay so if i want to use some names here you know i, I want to use some colors here um I, I would just say my strings then i add another class and i'm say i just going to say my colors so this is going to contain a colors this is going to contain a strange so this is going to handle the same names you know messages uh you know pop-ups and all that just going to call all the strings from here right and then the colors from here perfect i just wanted to let you know that let me just save this now coming back to this particular project you know i wanted us to work within this section so first thing first i'm just going to add a panel and it's not going to be what we are going to use i'm just going to add it as, as a reference then i'm just going to scale it up something like this to get this better let me just use red as an example yes yeah, just an example that is not what we're going to that is not the color we're just going to use i'm just using this as a reference then i just push this guy way up here perfect so i need the size of this right so i'm just going to copy the size and i'm just going to go inside my controls and i'm just going to add a new user control just like this and i'm just going to call this um ctl home or ctl dashboard right perfect so i have ctl dashboard here you can you can see i am resizing it so basically i've already copied the size so i'm just going to paste it way right here perfect i have the size so now i can go here and delete this i don't need it again <laughs> that's just like that bro so i'm just going to come here select the background color and just to give it the same thing to the color excellent perfect now when you just take a look at this dashboard um i will be willing to add a lot of dashboards here i'll just check and see if i can get a dashboard then i show you how the dashboard actually looks like All right okay so let me show you how the dashboard looks like so i was willing to see something but i never saw anything so with the dashboard uh we're just gonna build the dashboard on our own i was just trying to see something but i never saw anything so um with the dashboard i don't know what you want to um, put here you can decide to do whatever you want to do here you can add you know two buttons maybe one is for quick scan on and all that right so i am going to say let's add one button in this project i'm just going to use the normal buttons i'm just i'm not going to use any extra custom buttons i'm just going to use the normal buttons just like that so this button here or let me just yeah this button here and um i'll just copy this button paste it one more time just put these two here and i will just say um let me just add one panel just put this here and um, with this panel i'll just add the back color to be controlled just like this and i'm just gonna put it way here just like this it's just gonna control some couple of things so i'm just gonna put this here then i'll just put this here so within this um we can add some couple of things right you know it 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 doesn't really matter we can add some couple of things here so we can add a button here an image a text or anything like that so i'm just gonna copy this and paste it one more time put this to here okay so um from the down here i like to add up some icons which of course i can go here and um 
well I, I can just decide to bring these guys down i don't really want to do this exactly as the same thing as they they did i don't want to do that so this is going to be something like a quick scam i'm just going to do it this way then i'm just going to add maybe this button here that's going to be scan now and i'm just going to put this here you know basically to tell you to do something different right so let's just save this and go to build is very important then go to rebuild and that is going to rebuild this form or this window and when you go back to the form one and you go up thank you come here from the protector pc protector component now you see we have the dashboard here so you can easily drag and drop it here and there you go you have it just put it here or you can easily you know dock it up but i think i prefer you keep it this way that's it so when i save this and i, I just started as start this up you know it's actually going to be something like this right but you know uh, it's quite clickable but is not that much movable i'm just trying to get you know a very beautiful button or a very beautiful um dlls we can use for free I'm just trying my possible best to give you something or we create our own custom buttons right that looks perfect okay let's just hit the close button that is also not working so first of all before we close for today's lesson let's see how we can add the movable thing to this particular project we just click on this and it's actually going to be movable so let's just do that right away now on this ha uh, um, header panel that is how we're gonna track right or we can just track this minimize and close you know whatever you want to um use as a draggable object we can just do that right so let's do that so to do that let's just go back to the back end like this let me just zoom in for you to see the first coding we're gonna do we're just gonna do some basic first basic coding so first of all inside here we're just gonna declare some public const so because it is a public const i'm just gonna go to classes then i'm just gonna declare um let's declare let's let's create a class let's say um functions my functions so inside my functions um i'm just gonna say uh, public const is gonna be a constant then i'm just gonna say shared because we're just gonna share wm underscore mcl um, ncl b t t is gonna be button down event there's gonna be oh that is obviously going to be a button down event and that is going to be as integer and this integer is equal to the end sign h a one right so the shared is actually going to be public shared const just like this so we're just going to do the same thing public shared const then this time is just going to i'm just going to call this ht caption and this is going to be integer and this integer is going to be the same h then i add two instead instead of one the first one is h1 this is h2 okay now don't worry about the shade we'll fix it later so from here um all right no worries let's just cut this because i i want to make this function very well so let's go back to the dashboard um no from the form here let's just paste this guy here and instead of the shed let's just remove the shed oh do that all right then what we're gonna say is let's use a dll import here so dll imports attribute just like this then inside the attribute we're just gonna refer to the user 32 dot dll just like this and what i'm going to say is um 
let's say public shared now we're just gonna use the shared keyword here function send message that is the name I'm giving it to it and this is gonna be you know a bival then I'm just gonna call this hwnd you know as int ptr then we say bival msg as integer right then we add um bival again so what we are trying to say here is we are trying to create a function which will just handle um it is going to handle the events right so all you're gonna say is w p a m that is param as integer yes then we just close this then we say as integer all of them as integer perfect so let's see the problem we have here um okay let's see we have to end the function so end function because it is a function so we just have to end it all right so let's see what do we have here let's do some basic imports so we simply have to import system dot runtime dot interpol service uh, the, yes dot interrupt service sorry so this guy also let's just continue i'll just say let's add another dll and um, this is going to be dll import attribute import attribute and this is going to be user 32 the dll and this is actually going to be the same thing so we're just going to say public shared function so it's a function i'm just going to say release capture just like this and that is going to be as boolean okay then we simply end the function just like this no worries we work on that now um we have to create a private sub and that is going to be the form mouse form now or we can simply go back to the form here then we go to form event then we say form mouse down whenever the mouse down takes effect is gonna you know apply to that so we're just gonna say mouse down where is it mouse down perfect so we have it here so inside this mouse down what we're gonna say is we're just gonna say if either button equal to windows dot forms dot mouse buttons dot left then we're just gonna say okay the release capture should take place then the send message which we declared up there so we're just gonna say send message i'll fix it then it will handle the w m mouse down then the ht capture or the caption just like this and we add an um an integer of zero because we declared everything to be an integer all right okay so let's, let's just close this that's it so now let's see what we have here let's just try and go through again and let's see if everything is quite interesting just as we wanted it to be now with the handling this is where we can decide to add more handles if we want the only the mouse down we can add the mouse down to mini dot mouse down we, we will be doing that in no time 
but let's see what we have here this is very very important yes so um let's just see something here so this should be a capital letter yeah let's see this here integer perfect just have to fix some things right up here and what again do we have here okay so that is user i think my keyboard is actually giving me some technical challenges that is the reason why you know i have to go through every code again but you just have to take your time and you go through the quotes so that you see everything you've typed should be okay if everything you've typed is okay then yours should be fine right yours shouldn't your you know you shouldn't be facing any problem then so i'm just gonna pause the video and go through my codes and i will be back right so what i what i i what my problem was um you know after this message integer let's add another is it just gonna say by val and i'm just gonna call this w um wait a minute let me just see so i already have the w um param here so this is gonna be um let's say l param param yeah and this is going to be as integer as well and then we have the w param here we have the l param and we have the message right okay yeah right so i fix my code so let me quickly explain this to you so we have this dll import you can really write it down or i will share the repository in my um github um i will be giving you a link to be redirected there then you just clone it from there so we have a public shared function send message then the send message is from the bival whd as um h w n d as int ptr and bival message as integer as we wrote and um bival w param as integer then bival l param as integer and everything as integer right so we just simply end the function as we did and we just did this import we created a public function that is uh, you know release capture as boolean and we added this here so basically if you wanted to work on um you know the um the header panel just gonna come here say um header panel dot mouse down just like that if you want the label lbl title dot mouse down just like this then you say maybe bt b okay so that 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 should be enough right so i'm just gonna go back there you go so i'm just gonna start it up and see how it actually works good now when i click on this and drag now it's very very draggable so if you want to do this as well you can do that right so this is very very draggable right this is very very draggable okay thank you very much on our next lesson we're going to see how we can modify the, the home page then we add a custom button to add a lot of functionalities to this particular project thank you very much